Greetings, I am Cross Nice, and this is Let's Play Earthbound. On the last episode, I got my third Your Power location, and that I also spent, you know, an insanely long amount of time <laughs> returning an insignificant item to someone just to get a HP recover or a MP recovering, P PP recovering. That's the proper one. Um, I also dropped off a whole bunch of things. I mean, I'm just, I'm just explaining my item maintenance now. I had a ton of money in the uh, in the bank, which I didn't even realize. So it looks like I can buy everything that I want to buy. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, this is all accident. I, I deposited a whole bunch of items that I've been lugging around. It's interesting if Jeff fixes a like a gun, like a regular weapon, you can't sell it. I had to store it, so that's just gonna stay forever in S cargo storage, I guess. But I have I have some room now, and that is very good. Um, in our attempt to go to Foresight, however, we were stopped by supposedly. The world's longest traffic jam! It's really not, though. I feel like it's maybe 20 cars. But I think we're gonna do the crazy thing and walk around. This is apparently caused by some type of buffalo herd, for God's sakes. I should probably save my game, too. But yeah, I don't know. I think we can probably handle a little desert walking, hopefully. Oh, look at you, Mr. Desert Man. Shh, don't talk so loud. What do you ask me to buy? A zip gun, not as good as the gun that I fixed. Uh, bottle rocket and rust promoter. I mean... Nah. <laughs> you don't really have anything good. Alright. There's a mole playing roughly. What's going on here? <laughs> Welcome. Our paradise exists beneath that hole. Talarama is great and kind. And he knows everything Talarama does. He made us the underground rooms. Um, this better not... This isn't the part of the game where I think it is, is it? Because if it is, I need a lot of inventory space. Which I think I have. So that's good. Let me see if I'm even supposed to do this now. I feel like I'm not. Oh god. Monkey music. <laughs> is that a... What is happening? Why is there monsters in here? Well, he's not saying anything. Talarama is now fasting and participating in silent meditation. He is also abstaining from anything that will make him sick or smelly, too. Please don't bother him. Yep. We'll be back at some future point in the game. I don't remember why. I just remember that it's a very annoying sequence. <laughs> and, I don't know. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to... Oh, gay, you're a scorpion. I thought you were just a bunch of bones in the desert. All right. Oh wait, it's a skeleton. See, it was just a bunch of bones in the desert. However, it was an animated skeleton of a scorpion that is coming to kill me, or try to. It was apparently quite weak, likely meant to be paired up with companions that did not have the lonely skeleton scor. Damn it! If I was a little bit quicker and less zigzaggy, I probably could have gotten a back attack there. But I bet a lot of things here. Pro you'd think they'd be weak to ice. We're gonna use this on the crested boca. Uh-oh, thunder. Holy crap. <laughs> that, I think, would have killed, uh... Well, I would say it would kill Paula or Jeff. But in reality, if it had hit Paula, it would have done nothing, because she still has the Franklin badge. Which is why I'm keeping the Franklin badge. I'm not restoring that. Uh, every once in a blue moon, it actually comes in a handy. Was that the scorpion? Did the scorpion cast thunder on me? Why do the scorpions have psychic powers? I'm concerned about it. Defense down, not a spell that I'll be using all that much. I don't think it works on bosses. Um, the cool thing about Mother 3, though, which is the sequel to this game, or the third in the trilogy is more accurate to say, um, you can use... There, like, there's one character that has defense down items that are reusable. You can just use them all you want because he has a bunch of tools. And they do work against boss and bosses, and I use them frequently, because that's when they're useful. It's rare that you fight something on the map that's so powerful that you need to waste a turn, to, like, reducing their defenses. Not only waste a turn, but waste magic. And these tools, not only do you not waste magic, but again, it helps significantly with bosses. I think maybe even the final boss they might work, and I'm not sure, though. 
There we go. All right, 32. Oh, my God. That is the biggest offensive increase I think we've seen. Six? That's great. Going to be whacking people to death. Uh, spaceship is joining. All right. We got a cute little UFO. Also, Cross has Sunstroke. You can tell by that little uh, thing. I'm actually going to try Thunder on these guys and see what happens. That's uh, trying life up a little bit early. Thunder! Missed. Missed. <laughs> well, Thunder is not the most reliable spell. Alright. Cross is weak and receive four damage. Not the best. Alright, let's try a spell that will definitely hit. Haha, <laughs> your lasers are dumb. My fire is awesome. Actually, why am I using fire on desert creatures? <laughs> he was shown to be pretty weak against ice. I should probably keep with that. But he's dead now, so it doesn't matter. There we go. Decent experience. Enemy left a present. Inside was a cookie. That's terrible. Can't I, like, auto-reject cookies? Because they're horrible. And restore roughly 6 HP. Oh, I just used the sugar packet on it, too. Oh, and it made it cr Oh, really putting sugar on a cookie? I figure it's a fine combination. Mm, sugar cookie. All right, that, <laughs> that red flash was the uh, hit from my... Uh, my sunstroke, but we're gonna use the wet towel, and my sunstroke is cured. All right, we got a double burger. That's gonna restore way more health. Um, whenever you see those little sweat marks, that you're in a place that's gonna cause heat stroke to characters. And this place is huge. Oh god, sunbathers. We sleep in the desert, so we're often mistaken for corpses. But corpses don't usually wear a bathing suit, right? Hey, stop staring at my tan lines. Go away. I don't know. Corpses that are thrown in the ocean might wear bathing suits. I don't know. Annoying kids. What a group of brats. Scrat, you little monsters. Does that really say scrat? That's not a word, isn't it? Scram. It says scrat. Who has sunstroke now? Jeff does. All right. Let me see. You want to check my PSIs because I always forget. So this cures... All right. Uh, this is why I had to check because I know this cures sunstroke. Stroke. Or maybe it doesn't... Oh, in addition to the effects, yeah. So, you know, you don't want to use a, a stronger, more expensive healing spell if you don't have to, so... I shall heal you! Sunstroke cured. I just got the wet cowls mainly for battle, but I don't know. I guess I shouldn't have used it out of battle then. As sea monkeys live in the sea, desert monkeys live in the desert. I mean desert, not desert. I'm happy with the animals in the desert, aren't you? Is that what he said? I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm just second guessing all the things that I'm saying. Skip Sandwich Deluxe, I like that. Might have to use that. Okay, Scorpion, that says nothing to do with you. This is all between me and the Smiling Sphere. The creepy, creepy Smiling Sphere. Um, alright, hit you with a bat. Actually, no. We're gonna hit the Sphere with the bat, and we're gonna freeze the Scorpion and shoot the Smiling Sphere. Alright, I, I figured I could take that thing out in one hit. Now, I feel like, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was gonna say, I feel like this thing explodes and should be taken out first. Like the uh, tree. Note that uh, even though Paula took more than her health, it didn't say that she, uh, it didn't make like the noise for when people die. And I'm guessing that means that she only would have been taken down to one hit point and her guts saved her. So that's good. Skip Sandwich Deluxe used. So now I'll be able to run fast for a while. We're gonna cure her. And me. Not cure, but heal. There we go. Now we can run through this desert a lot faster. Uh, we'll deal with the sunstroke in a bit. There's a cup of life noodles. That'll revive a dead character. Very nice. Um, <laughs> let's just attack the weakest enemy in the game. Whoa, never mind. It's not a dog. It's a wolf. It's a desert wolf. Let's see how the desert wolf likes cold. Ooh, mighty biting attack. Freeze. Jeff is dizzy. We'll fix that in a bit. Wonder if I can just PSI heal him in the middle of battle real quick. Oh, he is going after Jeff, man. I don't know what Jeff ever did to him. Oh, wasn't able to cure him before the battle ended. 
So we'll do that now. And I also healed him. Alright, attack! Want to attack this new enemy type. Oh, go away, wolf! Did he make it? Did, the wolf didn't make it. Good. Alright, we're going to attack this bad buffalo. With, again, with freezing attacks, because that seems to work on everything here. Very nice. Nice, solid hit. Yeah, more damage than anyone else, actually. We're going to do that again. We've done a little bit under... We've done, like, 250 damage to him. This might kill him. Yep. Didn't even get to attack me. I think it has a pretty brutal charge attack, too, so... Oh, watch out for that. And you, sir. Oh! <laughs> Wasn't able to back attack him. Well, that was ridiculous. I used Ice Beta on him, and he took 460 points of damage. Damn, and the skip sandwich ran off. Or, <laughs> it ran away. It skipped away. As skip sandwiches do. Double burger! Tons of healing. Good thing I didn't put the sugar packet on that. That definitely would have made it crappier. Those buffalo don't move too fast on the map. I need to sneak around his dumb face. PSI Caramel! One of the other few items that restores uh, magic points. I think I'm pretty well around the desert at this point. The only reason it's taking longer is because I'm exploring. But, you know, sometimes there's some pretty good items. I got a bunch of double burgers. About 90 HP, yeah, and it's 100% beef. Which is the most important stuff, I guess. Mm. Could only be 99% beef and part turtle, and we don't want that. Yeah. Oh, look at this. I, I'm on the other side. Dusty Dune Headquarters for Finding Buried Gold. This hole is great. Good hole, good hole, good hole. First, someone asked me to dig for buried gold. I began to feel like I was obligated to find it. Man, I am starving. Do you have any food that you can spare? Seems like you have a lot of stuff. What are you going to give me? Um... How about the... I, I knew you liked these peanut butter cheese bars. <laughs> That's why I bought it all those times ago. Thank you. If I find the goat, I'll give it to you. Really? You're insane. You, what is wrong with you? <laughs> you gotta keep that gold. I mean, I feel bad taking it at that point. Hmm. No problem here. Except for Jeff dying of sunstroke again. Huh. I guess it's because of his extremely fair, pasty nerd complexion. But he seems to be getting sunstroke a lot more than the other two. Even though their complexions doesn't seem all that different. Guess we'll check in here. Just to see what's going on. It's a small house, but please stay the night. Oh, cool. And we can save games and talk to mothers. Cross? Don't say a word. I know exactly what you're thinking. My son. Who would have thought he was such a brave kid? Oh yeah, you're a hero, honey. Alright, well, I'm just making sure that he doesn't get homesick. Which I will say is, is like, one of the only interesting things about his character. I was talking about that last episode for probably far too long. And I don't know if people have responded to it, because backlog. But, you know, he gets homesick. Like, that's a cool little, uh, cool little addition to his character. Anyway, hard save. Alright, let's see. I know, I'm pretty sure I'm almost around the desert, but I might not be entirely... Oh, I don't need this. Forgot I just went to the, uh, in... Nope! Oh, damn it, I did make it, but I panicked. Huh. I don't think this guy's attacked yet. Every time I've attacked him, I've killed him before I was able to do anything. But that's gonna be the case again, though, isn't it? Because this is probably gonna wreck him. Nope, he might actually get an attack off. He did not. <laughs> uh... These desert creatures just can't handle ice, man. You'd think of anything, they'd be appreciative. But instead, they're just really dead. Alright, so I got around the other side. Now, where's the traffic jam, is the question. Well, I walked all the way back there, and there is no traffic jam. Of course, as soon as you get around, the traffic jam is dissipated, so you could have just waited. Broken. I'm a broken slot machine, but the Sanchez brothers and their friends are a very cheerful trio. <laughs> They will make you happy. Would you like to insert a buck? I'm Big Brother Poncho. 
I'm Kid Brother Pincho. I'm Thomas Jefferson. Mm hmm. I don't know if you can actually win anything from this. I just know that I've never won anything from it. Oh! Oh! Nope. <laughs> If you can actually win something, then I don't know, someone tell me, but otherwise I'm not going to waste my time with Thomas Jefferson and his brothers. But, okay. East of Foresight. I guess I'm walking. I could go all the way back to the bus stop, but that seems counterproductive. But yeah, desert. Still things to discover. There's that gold guy. That'll come up later. There's, um, this seems dangerous. There's no sidewalk. Um, there's the gold guy, and there's the, uh, the monkey place. And both of those will be a thing eventually. But now we're in the big city of Foresight. Well, not quite yet. I still have to go through this other tunnel. Again, seems dangerous. What if a bus comes? I guess I'm safe. I'm thinking too realistically. Weep. Okay. Now we're in Foresight, I mean on the outskirts at the very least. Look at the glorious city. It's laid out differently than any of the other cities, just it's got like those weird, like, you know, uh, half perspective angles. So you have to do more diagonal walking. No, I didn't actually mean to do this. I'm gonna not talk to the bus. Who talks to buses? Oh god! <coughs> Who talks to buses anyway? Uh, we got an extra cranky bag lady. Which, by the way, they look exactly like Pokey's mother, don't they? I think so. But oh, hit me with a shopping bag. Uh, we're gonna want to heal that as soon as we can. Because apparently those shopping bags had knives in them or something. Uh-oh. Continuous attack. Oh, so she just gets two attacks. Well, she attacked the wrong person, because I got HP for days! <laughs> she just said something really scary. You're out of toilet paper. Which isn't scary if you're not going to the bathroom, so yeah, it didn't work on Paula. Zoe, damn it! <laughs> Stop doing that. I'm gonna hit you with lightning, damn it, it's gonna work this time. It didn't work. It's actually the less people that are on the map, the less likely it is to work, because it basically shoots random spots where people could be standing, I think. So if there's a lot of enemies, way more likely that it's actually going to hit someone. The thing is, it's not even that great if it does. It's, it's, it's one of the weirdest uh, PSI attacks you can have. I guess I'm just human hunting here. Got an annoyed reveler. Let's um, freeze him. <laughs> Let's put him in cryostasis. There we are. He's probably even more annoyed and cold, but it doesn't matter because he's back to normal. I literally beat the evil out of his heart. Well, not literally. I froze and zapped the evil out of his heart, which is cooler. Sorry, Cross. You're not as cool as the others. Oh, I can't even knock on these guys' doors, I guess. They're too posh for me. With their crazy fire escapes. Let's see, the city of Foresight has developed quite a bit. Since Mr... Mr. Grendel regarded... Montatoli hit it pig time. It's been good for the city. That's a crazy first name. We, I guess I'll, I guess I'll check at the hotel. Sometimes there's interesting things in here. Cross, sir, are you staying here tonight? Thanks for being so generous with your tips. You never gave me a tip. Oh, never mind. I mean, I haven't stayed here yet, and you haven't done anything. You did creepily know my name, though. Maybe I'll hit him back on the way out. Working through the night. Oh yeah, I also gave Jeff the broken machine that I got at Apple Kid's house. After being fixed, it turned into a counter PSI unit. Hopefully I can actually use it instead of accidentally dropping the rare and irreplaceable item. Um, <laughs> let's go to help and not drop. Alright, contains an enemy's PSI during battle. Can be used many times. Hmm. I don't know quite how that works. I think it might mute them, but I don't remember it being too effective. Good morning. This is a unique service exclusive to only our hotel. 
I'm here to read you today's headlines. On the front side, on the front page of the Foresight Post, over 70% of Foresight citizens support Montatoli. I guess he's the person who runs the town. Hey you! If you meet a beautiful, seductive woman who's looking for me, tell her hi. Anyway, I don't think any woman like that is looking for me. I mean, alright, I'll do that, I guess. I will tell her hi, it'll have nothing to do with you, but... Because I don't even know your name. You didn't even tell me your name, you didn't even say, Hi, so-and-so is looking for you. So I can, I can complete your request? Assuming I'm not too shy? Alright. Oh. I guess I can't give him a tip. I would give you a tip. I don't know, I mean, I don't know... What, you didn't do anything, you didn't carry my luggage. You didn't carry my broken machine to my room, did you? I had to do that under my own power, and Jeff's poor arms are weak. Uh, hello? Oh, it's just my dad. I, look. I'm gonna keep on playing. Oh, wait, I said yes. <laughs> keep an eye out for bad guys. I'm not taking a break. So, you know. <laughs> Whatever, I, I, I called him before. You can, you can go away. The Runaway 5 from Tucson are, seem very popular. I heard that the Tripoli Theater is always full. So it looks like they found a new place here, which is good. They were stuck in Tucson for way too long. And Tucson, nice place. Sure, Zoe likes it. But is it really big enough to support such stars as the Runaway 5? First floor bakery, second floor, second floor bakery. wonder what the difference between the two is. Let's see, do you have anything cool? You do have Skip Sandwich Deluxes, and I love those. Cross doesn't seem to have enough room, alright. Because Cross is filled with double burgers. That being said, Zoe's got practically nothing. No, no, I was lying, I hate cookies. I hate cookies and they're not good. Unless they're stolen from Tony's birthday party, then I will eat all the cookies. There we go, Skip Sandwich Deluxe. I shall devour you. I'll give it to Jeff, he's looking a little bit thin. Alright, wee! Wee! How is this a bakery? I was thinking, there's a tightwad born every minute. <laughs> oh, well, I guess there wasn't actually things sold on the second floor. Bread in this town has a very plain, nondescript flavor to it. To tell you the truth, I'm the owner of this bakery. <laughs> I mean, maybe you shouldn't be saying things like that then. Alright, so there's not a lot here. There is a hospital. There's a department store. It looks like that's a government building, though. Let me see if I can go to there. Also, they mentioned there's a theater. That's probably a, uh, a thing. Huh. Looks like the, there's a guy that owns the buildings and everything and the police force. That's not a conflict of interest. It's really bad if anyone owns the police force. Here. Alright. I'm at a museum, apparently. The Dinosaur Museum doesn't have any real dinosaurs. They're all repl replicas. I'm sure everyone knows that. If you still want to see the dinosaur, pay $5 for the entrance fee. Okay. You'll find an academic researcher inside. Whoa. <coughs> Wait, that's not a real dinosaur? Like, it's not real dinosaur bones? It's kind of lame. Oh my. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a genius photographer, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, Fuzzy Pickles! Ooh, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Yeah, ta 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 best, best, most important character in the game, that one. Dinosaurs believed... So these are real, these are real, right? I don't know. Don't ask for any details. This museum should sell dinosaur t-shirts. Huge! Not you. I'm talking about the dinosaur bones. I, I figured. I wonder how many animals go extinct before human beings discover them. I want to see a live dinosaur sometime in my life. Well, that's impossible, lady. You're too old to walk to where the dinosaurs are. I'm so happy that there are a few visitors today. These days, few people come here. I'm Mr. Spoon, the academic researcher. I wonder if there are any famous stars here today. Dinosaurs. Huge, aren't they? Well, 
That's all I've got out of my research. You want to hear more? To tell you the truth, I hear that dinosaurs were found near the lower side of Scaraba. And there are a lot of them. There are unconfirmed reports that the dinosaurs ate some of the natives there. If you go, please try to find dinosaurs and bring back photographs. Please come back again and study, because I don't like being alone. You seem like you're terrible at science, if all you figured out was that they're large. Of course, you might just be covering up, because apparently there is a dinosaurs are still alive conspiracy, which, frankly, I think is ridiculous. Well, I think that's all for this time. Next time, I'll do a little bit more to explore the city. I mean, I've already explored their fabulous hotel, their bakery, and their museum. But there's probably one or more two, one or more things that aren't listed. I know there's a theater here, they keep on mentioning it. And the department store, where I can probably buy some awesome goodies. Alright, I'm Cross Knights, and I'll see you next time.